hey guys in today's tutorial we will see uh, how you can set up a spark environment uh, basically if you installed it in an anaconda or jupyter environment then how actually use it in a notebook so in today's short video i'll show you which library you is you can uh, use to actually create a spark session object on top of the spark installation you have as part of your anaconda virtual environment so this is something uh, jupyter environment that you can also have uh, in this i have already created this my environment one which is a python 3 environment uh, which has all the libraries required for the python so this is uh, a python notebook in the jupyter uh, so here uh, basically you need to use uh, one of the libraries to actually use spark which is already installed on your machine so to do that you just need to import yeah find spark just try to do shift enter yeah it's working uh, that means this library is imported and now you just need to write find spark dot init so this statement will initialize uh, the spark instance that is already uh, installed uh, it will initialize that and which means this particular virtual environment will have access to uh, the spark environment itself so find spark will find the location of the spark where the spark is installed in your machine then in it will initialize the installation for this particular virtual environment and you are good to go so which means you can now import the spark libraries also let's see it's in progress yeah so now that after find pi spark and find uh, find spark and find spark dot in it i am now able to access the pi spark libraries also so this is how you can just in two lines you can just uh, attach your uh, spark <coughs> to your notebook and now now that we have already uh, install uh, imported the PySpark library. Let me just take some of the binaries. For example, for the Spark station. Yeah, it's not giving any error. Spark Spark station dot builder dot uh, app name something finder app. and get or create so this will create the spark instance it is taking some time that is fine it usually takes that so this is how basically you can import the spark libraries and use it on your local machine if provided you have spark installed and you, you are just attaching it to this particular uh, virtual uh, kernel or virtual environment right so if i just type spark it will show you which version of spark is already installed on local it's not master uh, finder app is the app name spark ui is also provided as part of this url uh, th this will basically leave from here itself this is my spark right so this is how you can uh, utilize this spark in your uh, python notebook in virtual uh, kernels virtual environments so thank you for watching this video let's uh, take a look in the next videos where we are actually using uh, data frames and uh, working on those thank you for watching